G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv. In this video, we are going to take a look at a new feature in Delphi 11, and it's how you can express numbers. So we'll just start with a new VCL application. Uh, I'll just throw a button on. And let's do a show message. And if I write a number, um, can go to two string. Um, what is that number? Is that a hundred million, a billion, something along those lines? Well, now you can put underscores in the number, and we can see that is in fact one billion. And if we run that, we do need to get the result that we expect. And basically, these, these underscores are ignored. So if I put uh, an extra zero in there, that'll run just fine. And it becomes uh, 10 billion. So that's a pretty nice, nice new feature. It'll make it a bit more obvious how big numbers are. And, and sometimes numbers have formatted zip codes and they've got that formatted in specific ways. And um, if you've got constants, then it might be quite helpful having underscores in, in different places. The other interesting new syntax is binary numbers. So if I put a percent down, I can specify a binary number. So if I go on to zero, 01, that should be 9. And indeed it is. And uh, 4. So that's 8. And I can actually put underscores in. So if I take 4 of those, I have a 32-bit number. And if I have eight of them, I have a 64-bit number. And if I do another one, I'll probably get some sort of integer overflow. I haven't actually tried it. There we go. It's an error. We get a compile error. So that's quite a nice feature of of Delphi, because sometimes you need to express something as a in binary format, and you have to do some, you know, look up and what it is in as an integer and using uh, you know Windows calculator or something like that. So that's pretty nice. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. I think that's a pretty pretty cool new feature. I have a book, uh, Code Faster in Delphi. If you've already purchased it, thank you very much. If not, go buy it. I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. Thanks for watching.